Welcome to the video on how to get started using Minitab statistical software. In this video, we will introduce you to Minitab using the desktop version of the software and show you how to enter and import data. When you open Minitab, you will see the Navigator, the Output pane, and the Data pane. The Navigator contains the list of output titles and reports in your project. You can sort, rename, and perform other functions from the Navigator. After performing an analysis, the Output pane displays your output. The Data pane displays the active worksheet. In Minitab, the worksheet is where the data are stored. A single worksheet can contain up to 4,000 columns, and the maximum number of rows depends on your computer's available memory. You can begin by typing your data directly into Minitab. Here, you can enter a column name, then type your data. If you need to create a new worksheet at any time, select the plus sign in the data pane, or choose File, New, Worksheet. If you have data in another location, such as Excel, you can either copy and paste it or import it. To import data into Minitab, select File, Open, then choose from Minitab Projects and Worksheets, Excel Files, or text files such as CSV. If your data are stored in an online repository such as Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive, choose File, Open from Repository. If you need to import your data from a database, choose File, Query Database. Then select the Machine Data Source tab to see the list of databases that are available from your computer. Minitab's online data library includes hundreds of sample datasets that you can use to learn Minitab. Let's take a closer look at the Shipping Data Sample Dataset. This dataset contains data on more than 300 shipments. The data are arranged in columns where each column represents a different variable, and each row represents an individual shipment. Notice that the column number and format are located at the top of each column. There are three different column formats in Minitab, Numeric, Text, and Date Time. Here we see that the first column is labeled C1T, where the letter T indicates a text column. C2 and C3 are formatted as date time, as indicated by the letter D. Columns that contain numeric data do not have a letter indicator, as shown in C4 and C6. Minitab automatically formats the columns based on the data found in the first row. After your data are in a Minitab worksheet, you can conduct your analysis. The menus that you will probably use most often are the Stat menu and the Graph menu. For example, create a histogram with a normal curve for the delivery times. Select Graph, Histogram, with Fit, and enter the Days column. The histogram appears in the Minitab output pane. To test if the average delivery time is equal to 5 days, select STAT, Basic Statistics, 1 Sample T. Enter the Days column, then enter the hypothesized mean of 5 days. Now the 1 Sample T results are in the output pane. After you conduct your analysis, make sure you save your project and data in a Minitab project. Choose File, Save Project. For more information about our Minitab products, go to minitab.com.